Joe, many congratulations. You came here the underdog and you leave the favourite now to head to the playoffs. How are you feeling after that? Yeah, it was, I've, I've done everything tonight I possibly can. Obviously win the night and next week I play Peter, so it's in my own hands. So that's that's how I'd want it. You don't want to be you know, relying on people to win or lose for you. It's in my own hands next week. If I lose to Peter, then it's my own fault. Um, so I, I couldn't wish for much more, much more really. Played some of your best stuff you played in the Premier League consistently tonight as well. That must please you. Yeah, I've been, I've been so erratic this year. There's been no B game. It's been sort of an A or C. It's been that bad. And there's been a few times where I've been, I think, personally, I think I've embarrassed myself, you know, and it's just maybe just trying too hard, maybe. And this, this week it's been a bit of downtime this week. Obviously, we're losing early in Prague, so I had a bit more time at home. And I'm not really practised this week. And I've come in, you know, knowing that I need a result. And, you know, I've shown I've got the ball. And, you know, I've got the win tonight, so that's good. I was going to ask you, you've opened on social media about some of your performances. Terrible. But, yeah, you've openly admitted that. But then coming here, did you genuinely believe you could still get to the playoffs with those performances? Because they must play on your mind. Yeah, but I, th I think if you, if you look at the night that I won before in Rotterdam, it wasn't great. That night I just ground out results. And I think I've, I've added that. That's one positive from the Premier League. I've added, I've added that side to the game that I can grind results out, you know, rather than just blow people away. So that's, that's one positive. But... You know, it's, it's just so tough. You're looking to, you know, earmark games that are gimmies, and there's just it's just not happening. You know, like Gary tonight. Gary's a you know world class player. I know he didn't play that tonight, but you know that he's got the game in him. So it's so you've got to be on the guard constantly. Leg seven, game, man game management. The look on your face that going through that. Did you learn a lot from yeah. that? Maybe compose yourself a little bit more in those. Yeah, moments? well, I, th I think I think I set off the next leg off a one seven four, one eighty. Yeah. So I just compose myself a little bit, but. It was so erratic and I just, if I'm honest, I was thinking about the winning line, I was thinking, you know, about the five points, you know, it's obviously the ten grand's, you know, great, but at this stage of the season, it's, it's all about the points, so I think I was thinking about that and I think he showed the darts, you know, I think one was close out of seven, was it, I think, but the rest was terrible. Was it easier or harder playing one of your best mates in the final now and everything was on the line? Um, I don't know really, I'm not really a tight process. It. Johnny, it's, he's not really playing for much, if, if that makes sense. He's playing for an extra 10 grand bonus. Um, so it was tough, so I knew that going in, and I think, I don't, I don't know, John, Johnny weren't himself tonight, but if, if he was himself you know, over the last few weeks, I would have probably been on the end of like, a 6 2 6 3 loss, but luckily for me, it wasn't. Your first Premier League experience overall, have you enjoyed it, or has it been an emotional roller coaster? Yeah, no, I'm loving it. It's just the, the travels a lot, and you know, I appreciate now what the, what the boys have done over the last you know years. I used to think when the boys pulled out of you know certain events, I used to just think they was lazy. I know, I know obviously, no, that's not the case now. But it's um, it's so constant, and this this May of every Premier League's followed by a big European tour, so it's constant, and I'm, I'm looking forward to to getting it over and done with. To be honest, obviously, I'd love to be in the playoffs. But if, if it's not the case, it's not the case. So, you know, I've really enjoyed my time. Touching on what you said there about the big Euro tours, is there a temptation to miss this weekend no. and rest for the no. for Newcastle? No, definitely not. Uh, I think if it was a pro tour, maybe. But I think the Euro tours, you know, there's so such good money and there's you know so many ranking, obviously points, money, whichever way you want to put it, is, is on the line. So I think I'd be stupid to miss one, definitely. Jamie, congratulations on seeing Newcastle. Nice one, cheers, folks.